Ladies and gentlemen, board members, Nancy and former colleagues, I am so honoured to receive this distinguished award in the name of Dr. Henry Hood. At the beginning of my career with International Medical Corps, he and I spent some memorable times together in Central America and later in Somalia's Mogadishu, where we found raging warlords, total anarchy and insecurity. As you all know, International Medical Corps moves fast in emergencies. And in my various roles as a manager working in its humanitarian operations, I have profited from the mentoring that I have received from many colleagues in the organization. Too many to mention, but Henry, Dr. Hood, was my first mentor. And in this room, they include, oh, where is she? Nancy Ossie, Bob Simon, Ed Carpenter, Bill Sunblad, Key Lu, Case Clumper, Mary Pack, Margaret Traub, and of course, my colleagues in Croatia. In every humanitarian crisis, the staff at International Medical Corps have to make hard choices by considering the available resources at hand, the directives of their donors, sometimes of which there are many, and the contexts in which they are seeking to aid non-combatants. I'm sure all of my colleagues worldwide will join me in a big thank you to all of our supporters here tonight, because your generosity enables us to make the right choices in some very challenging contexts. Choices that make a difference, as you have seen, to so many so many worldwide. I left my home in London, well, 40 years ago, you can tell by my accent, it's yeah. nearly Californian, <laughs> because I wanted to make a difference. But today, awful famines still grip Somalia and the Horn of Africa. There is terrible suffering in Ukraine and still in Afghanistan and throughout the Middle East. And a cynic might say, hey, Stephen, you failed. But you know, however, as a part of a greater whole, I know. I know I have succeeded beyond my dreams. Working for International Medical Corps, the only organization now classified by WHO, the World Health Organization, as a type one emergency relief team, and one that has trained thousands of staff, medical staff, and mobilized thousands of communities, as well as affected the lives of so many millions, saving so many lives. I've been part of that whole, just a small part, but I am so grateful to you, International Medical Corps, for this award and for the opportunities you have provided to me. My children are here tonight and some of my grandchildren and I thank you for so rarely complaining. <laughs> and a big thank you to all of our supporters for making such a huge difference possible. Thank you.